In this video, take a journey with me to a lake in Nashville, Tennessee that is not very well known, but is full of catfish. I'm giving up the exact location of one of my springtime fishing hotspots and the bait I use and other tips you need to have an outstanding bank fishing experience. If you find this video helpful, please help my YouTube channel by hitting the like button. Now let's begin this journey to a fishing spot that will provide a wonderful bank fishing experience. On April 10th, 2023, the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency stocked the lake at Cedar Hill Park in Madison, Tennessee with hundreds of catfish that were the perfect size for keeping and eating should you decide to do so. On my fishing trip to this lake on April 14th, 2023, I brought home five catfish to clean and eat. I also caught a five and a half pound catfish which I released into this lake so that others could enjoy and have the experience that this catfish provided me when I caught it. Hey buddy, you're free. Now it's time to discuss the information you will need to be successful when fishing this lake. Even though the lake is full of fish, you still have to catch them. And trust me, these fish in this lake are finicky. The first few baits that I tried produced no results. However, I did find two baits that worked and I will discuss these later in the video. First, lake requirements. You will need a fishing license to fish in this lake and there's a sign in the parking lot that states that the limit of catfish in this lake is five. The best time to fish this lake is on a cloudy day when the fish are more active. It was 85% cloud cover the day I fished this lake. And I started fishing at 7 a.m. in the morning and I noticed that the, the bite had slowed down around 11 a.m. The best place to start fishing this lake is on the rocky bank on the spillway end of the lake. There's a parking lot by the spillway where you can park your car and then walk on the trail about middle ways or so and fish the rocky bank. How to fish this lake. I, I had success with both fishing on the bottom and also fishing with a slip bobber with the bobber stop adjusted so that I was fishing about eight feet deep. Now let's talk about fishing bait and that's where things become tricky because the normal baits that I use for catfish did not work. I used minnows, I used punch bait, stink bait, Berkeley catfish power bait and those did not work. In addition there are other fishermen using worms and they weren't having any success either. Now we'll discuss the two baits that did work for me and allowed me to turn things around and start catching catfish. One, uncooked jumbo shrimp. Remove the shell, put it on the hook, and allow the barb of the hook to be exposed so that you can get a hook up when the fish bites. The second bait that worked for me was a new one that I've added to my catfish arsenal and that is raw uncooked chicken breast cut into strips the size of your thumb. Place these in a freezer bag, pour in strawberry jello and pour in some garlic powder. 
seal the bag, shake it, put it in the refrigerator overnight. Put it on your hook, but allow a little bit of the barb of the hook to show so that you can get a good hookup on the catfish when he bites it. If you have any questions, use the comment section below and I will respond to your comment. Also, if you've had success fishing this lake and you know of something that will help, add that in the comment section below as well. If you've made it this far in the video, you now have a game plan that should allow you to be successful when fishing this lake. The Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency will stock this lake again with catfish in May and June of 2023. So there'll be plenty of fish to catch.